Okay, let's try to get our web server to run a CGI script. So as you can see here, I've got our hello world that we did in our last video, and it is in the proper directory for our web server to be able to find it. This subdirectory is just for organizational purposes. And you can see it's executable like we want because the web server needs to run it. And we have to use our shebang because the web server has no clue that we're running Python. It just knows it's a program. And so we need that shebang in there. So if we do this and we save it in that directory and we go to our web server and we produce a URL to it, it's in my home directory. Hello, py, and we try to run that. We get this internal server error. Ah, what's going on? What, uh, what the pro? What's? I, I'm confused. Well, the problem is that we need to be able to communicate between this running program and the web server because our program could generate anything. I mentioned in earlier videos HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, but it could also automatically generate a, an image or a audio file, a video file. And so we need to tell the web server what we're producing so that the web server can tell the web browser what we're producing. So we need to add one extra very important line in there. We need to print double quotes is going to be important here, content type, text, HTML. And because it, Python adds a blank line to, uh, or a new line character at the end, we need to add a backslash n to add a second new line. You could think of this as being like uh, doing the same as print uh, empty but that kind of seems ridiculous to do that. So we're going to put that new line character here. So the blank line is our communication that we're done communicating with the web server and we're ready for the rest of our output to be sent on to the web browser. So let's go ahead and write this here. Go back to our web browser and reload it. And yay, we get our hello world. If we look at the source of that, we can see we got hello world. Now, obviously, this isn't great HTML, but it is showing that whatever output is produced by our program, right here, hello world, is the output that gets seen by our web browser. And then there's this type of information right here that communicates between the program and the web server. So there, the program can communicate with both the web server and the web browser. And so that is how that works.